Hello Capsters, it's me, the Cap Fantastic, and welcome to my YouTube channel once again, where today we're talking about the wardrobe in Diablo 4 and how you apply all of those sweet cosmetics to your character. Let's go. So if you've been watching me at twitch.com forward slash the cat fantastic, you will have been earning drops, which you can apply to your gear in game. And just like the cosmetic gear in the shop, all of this is found in the wardrobe in all of the capital cities available in Diablo 4 right now. When you first start the game and you're playing a new character, you will not be able to access your cosmetic items, mounts, and things like that. What you'll need to do is progress the main campaign until you reach the very first city, Kyovashad, and which you will find a wardrobe. Now the wardrobes and the stashes are usually based in spaces that look like inns or actually in an inn in the city environment. And to apply your cosmetics and to transmog or glam your gear, you would need to go to the wardrobe. Here we are. So in the wardrobe, you can see first tab at the top wardrobe showing you all of your transmog slots or ensembles as they're called within Diablo 4. The various items you've collected under each section, armor and items being weapons and back pieces. Then you've got the appearance tab, which gives you your makeup options and your jewelry options and your tats and markings with, of course, the color change. And finally, the headstones, which will be the headstones you've collected either in game from the shop or around the world of Diablo through things like Twitch drops. So with that in mind, shop items you may have purchased will show up as a little kind of card reminiscent of the tarot reader that sells items to us in the shop. And you can simply select whether you want to change your armor or items, move through the slots that you can, of course, transmog or glam, and change within there the various items that you would like to see on your character as a set. Once you've chosen those, you can change the color of them across the bottom. Holding down gives you a full palette and clicking gives you just the item you have selected. Now again, this is similar on controller with holding down and just clicking, having the same functionality. So once you've chosen the color you like for the items you've selected, you can go across to weapons or items. Now the reason it's items is that it also contains back pieces. Again, some available from the shop. And of course, this is where you'll find your beta wolf pack if you reach level 20 during the beta as well. So you can change those to whatever items you would again like to see on your character and mix and match until your heart is content. If you want to just put this lock look on you know, as it stands now, you can click confirm look, or you can go to a slot and overwrite or save the look. Now there are five ensemble slots. You can unlock these with gold in game and you can simply go to them and save the look to a slot so that you can come back another time and pick it up from where you left off. And that, folks, is how you transmog, glam, whatever you want to call it, in Diablo 4 and pick the ensemble that you'd like to roll with once you've got all of your sweet drip from across Diablo's in-game, the shop, and of course, the awesome Twitch drops, which are rolling out over this week, and of course, three additional weeks of content coming in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.